Well, good morning, everyone. Yeah, there's my buddy laying on my beat-up couch, and uh, she's hogging my uh, my geezer pillow. That's her pillow up there. So I guess I needed to put it down on the couch. For, but uh, anyway, I just want to show you this morning. She's already licking her lips. But she isn't going to be able to eat what I'm making now. I'm going to make me a batch of fresh pica de gallo. So I want to show you all how we do that down in South Texas. I've, uh, I'm sure, I'm sure it's done a lot of different ways. But, uh, I got my onion. I got a tomato. I'm, and depending on how hot, you, you chop this all up, mix it all together. And then you sort of taste it with, uh, corn chips. And if it's too hot, you can add some more tomato. So I'm going to start out with one tomato. I got my cilantro. And uh, this right here, this one is a jalapeno, and I took a bite off of it a while ago. It's not real hot, so I was prepared. I bought a couple, two, three uh, serrano peppers. And uh, those bad boys are... Those bad boys will heat it up, heat it up quick. And uh, yeah, isn't that a pretty plant I have growing there? My cilantro. <laughs> cilantro, I think I've told you all this before. Cilantro will last so much longer if you just put it in a jar with some, uh, with some water in it in the refrigerator. Yeah, it takes up a little room, but I love that stuff. So, And then here's my seasonings. Uh, yeah, pepper, I got some pepper here, black pepper, garlic powder, uh, I put a little cumin, I don't know if everybody does that, but I, I just like the taste it gives it. I put a little ground cumin in there, and, uh, and I'm, you can't go wrong with these, green and red hatch chili flakes. Straight out of Hatch Valley, New Mexico. That's the real stuff. And that's, uh, th these are really good. So, uh, I'm going to get it all chopped up and uh, show you what it looks like chopped up. And then I'm going to mix it together. And then we're going to take a, a couple of bites of it. So, I'll be right back. Hang on. All right, y'all. I'm back. I got it all chopped up. I actually added another tomato in there. Uh, I wasn't going to have quite enough, I don't think. And I test, uh, I tested that jalapeno, and by golly, uh, uh, it's got some heat now. Sometimes you get down in, in you know, a little further towards the stem and start hitting all the seeds down in there. And uh, I'm, I'm going to leave the serrano out for right now. So let me get this mixed together and seasoned up and uh, we'll see what it looks like and yeah my, my friend is still patiently waiting be right back oh that noise you're hearing if you hear a little humming I got the big old uh, box fan on yeah don't have the air on yet it's still these mornings been pretty cool it's warming up a little bit now though it won't be long yeah, I used to have a little ninja um, chopper upper thing, you know, uh, what do you call that, blender, a, a small one. And when I was turning minimalist, I decided I wasn't using it enough. So I, uh, I uh, got a picture of that fly, didn't I? <laughs> caught my eye, fly caught my eye. Uh, I sold it in a garage sale <laughs> for like $5, I think. Uh, it's, it, it made uh, it made making pica de gallo a lot easier, but uh, but heck, what else do I have to do except except chop? I'll be back. All right, isn't that pretty? Got her all chopped up, all seasoned up, mixed together. I tell you what, anything that colorful has got to be healthy for you. I had an old buddy of mine. Well, he's dead now, but. Uh, uh, old Dennis used to say he'd eat jalapenos and he used to say I'll see a 
He said, they got to be good for you. I see a lot of old, old Mexican men walking around. He said, they, they keep your pipes clean. So, uh, anyway, there might be some truth in that, too, you know. But I got my chips there. These chips are like $1.99 a bag. They're the only chips that are reasonable anymore. But I thought I was in a lot better shape. I think, I think one of the girls been in here and got in my chips. So, uh, anyway, I got enough to sample there. I threw a little more uh, cilantro in there. Every time I cut up cilantro, I think of my buddy Big Jim in that restaurant. I told you all that story before. That he was sent his food back because he found a cilantro stem. I said, oh my gosh. I can talk about him, though. He doesn't watch my videos. So I can, I can talk about that guy. All right, well, uh, let's see if I can hold this with one hand. Let's see here. Let's see. Boy, these chips are not very big at all. This, these ain't good dipping chips. Yeah. Come on, geezer. Get a bigger chip here. My gosh, how am I going to do this? Hang on, guys. Okay, there we go. Down the hatch. Get my finger out of the way. She stands at attention when she hears me chewing. You can't have this, baby. No. -uh. Nope, starting to pant. Got to turn the air on. All right, guys. Pretty good. I may kick it up a little bit with a little Serrano, though. This old South Texas boy, he likes it hot. All right. Be talking at you later. That's how you make uh, Pico de Gallo. Got to be healthy for you. Peace out. Stay blessed. Stay positive. And uh, we'll be talking at you later. Stay healthy. Adios.